Good afternoon. Welcome to this meeting of the Subcommittee on Landmarks, Public Siting, and Maritime Uses. I'm Council Member Adrian Adams, the Chair of the Subcommittee. We will be joined by Council Members today. Currently, we are joined by Council Member Steve Mattiel. Today, we will be holding a hearing and vote And a vote on LU 278, a proposed site selection for a new 456 seat school, and votes on three additional items heard earlier this month. I begin by opening this public hearing on LU 278, an application filed by the School Construction Authority, pursuant to Section 1732 of the Public Authority's Law for a proposed site selection to construct a new 556 seat intermediate and high school facility serving District 75 students. The proposed site is a 2.3 four-acre city-owned parcel located at 715 Ocean Terrace in Council Member Matteo's district in Staten Island. I now recognize Council Member Steve Matteo to speak on the application. Thank you, Chair Adams. Um, let me first state that I fully support the construction of the new Hungerford School in the Petrides campus. This 256-seat District 75 new school is needed to replace the, the deteriorating existing, existing school in Clifton. The school is designed to ultimately accommodate up to 456 students and will provide a much better educational experience for the special needs students who attend. With all this said, this planning process is the only opportunity we have to get this project right, both for Hungerford students and for those who already call the Petrides campus home. And I'm committing to ensuring we anticipate and address any foreseeable issues now when we have this opportunity. There are two main issues I would like to raise that I believe must be adequately addressed at this stage of the process, ingress, egress issues, and parking issues. First, ambiguities regarding ingress and egress to both schools must be cleared up and a clear traffic flow pattern established for both schools, for both cars, and for buses. Morning drop-off and afternoon dismissal times are already chaotic at all schools. When we add in a second school to the mix, it could lead to more chaos unless a plan is firmly put in place prior to opening. While I understand it is currently contemplated to have ingress and egress take place at different places on the campus for the different schools, we need to ensure the plan works. The effects of the plan on Safety City Boulevard is also a concern so it appears it will be heavily utilized to move students to and from the school. In addition, I am concerned about potential impacts on local surrounding residential streets that will be dealing with the effects of more vehicular traffic. Second, the parking situation must be addressed. Since the school will be built on part of the campus main parking lot, we must ensure those valuable parking spots are replaced. So our challenge is to figure out a way to construct the school while finding adequate parking to ensure the campus remains as accessible as it always has been. As this process continues, I need to be comfortable that all aspects of the ingress-egress issue are addressed and that parking will be created to replace those spaces that will be lost. I am hopeful SCA will show us hard numbers demonstrating what exists now and what will exist once construction is completed. As I stated in the beginning, this project is needed and is necessary, and I look forward to its grand opening in September of 2021. Now is the opportunity for us to figure out um, the traffic plan, how to get this done right, um, making sure that the Petrides campus um, is as fluid as possible from now and decades to come. So I look forward to SCA's testimony. I want to uh, also state I, I appreciate SCA working with my office um, on this project. Um, I think we're very close to just making sure that we have these two issues addressed. I look forward to your testimony, and then I'll, I'll come back with some questions. Thank you, Council Member. I echo the sentiments of my colleague. I now call upon uh, Kelly Murphy, SCA, Gail Mandaro, SCA, Melanie Laroca, Laroca, SCA, and Ben Goodman to give your testimony. Before you begin, counsel, will you please swear in the panel? Please raise your right hands. Do you affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony before the subcommittee in response to all council member questions? Thank you. You may begin. Members, again, my name is Kelly Murphy, and I'm the director in the Real Estate Strategy Group for SCA. And as you know, my colleagues are here. Um, the New York City School Construction Authority has undertaken the site selection process for a new intermediate high school on a site on Block 683 on a portion of Lot Lawn, and it'll be proposed Lot 320 in the future in the borough of Staten Island. The proposed site consists of approximately 101,948 square feet, approximately 2.34 acres, situated on the Petrides campus, 
located at 715 Ocean Terrace. The proposed site is owned by the City of New York with jurisdiction assigned to the New York City Department of Education and it's located within the Toad Hill section of Staten Island, Community District 2, and Community School District 31. Under the proposed project, the SEA plans to construct a new ISHS facility serving District 75 students across the borough and will serve as a replacement for the Richard H. Hunkerford School currently located at 155 Tompkins Avenue. The notice of filing for the site plan was published in the New York Post the Staten Island Advance and the City Record on October 1st, 2018, and Staten Island Community Board Number 2, Community Education Council 31, the Citywide Council for District 75, and the City Planning Commission were all notified of the site plan. The Citywide Council for District 75 held a hearing on October 18, 2018. The Community Board, the CEC, and uh, chose not to hold the public hearings. The SCA considered all comments received on the proposed site plan and affirms the site plan pursuant to Section 1731 of the New York Public Authorities Law. Pursuant to Section 1732 of the Public Authorities Law, the SCA submitted the proposal site plan to the Mayor and City Council by letter dated November 26, 2018. With that, we look forward to your comments and look forward to your favorite, favorable consideration of the proposed site plan. Thank you. Councilmember Matteo, did you have questions? Thank you, Chair Adams. So let's just um, thank you for your testimony. Thank you for being here, obviously. Um, let's just go right into the parking. Can you tell me how many spots are on, on the, the Petrides complex? The, currently, it's pr approximately 680 spaces. And for the new school? Uh, the new, well, it's, <laughs> it's kind of complicated. So the existing spaces will be restriped. Okay. Um, which will get additional spaces from the existing space. There will be new spaces put on Safety City Boulevard, and it's for a net increase of 14 spaces to current. 14 spaces throughout the entire complex? To, to, yeah, through the facility. There. Okay, so we're not losing any spots at all? No. Good. And the restriping, um, it, will that, that includes the upper portion of the parking lot now? Or just Safety City Boulevard? No, the Safety City Boulevard are new spaces. Yeah. And the restriping also gets gains us new spaces as well. Okay. And the, the layouts will be different. And my number for the new school is 174. Is that accurate parking spaces? That, well, that's what will be used, yeah. For the new school? For the facility, for the staff and uh, coming. I'm saying, but those will kind of be designated for the new school, right? Uh, that's an operations question. I'm not sure about who, if it'll be designated. They're not designated now. Okay, well, so I can't something answer. we'll address as we're working yeah, through I the process. Yeah, I can't answer that. Okay, um, and I'm, I'm pleased that we have a net gain of 14 spots. We certainly didn't want to lose any. Um, so I'm going to go right into my second issue, and that's the the, the traffic, obviously. Um, you know, as you know, Petrides is a very traversed uh, co campus, not only during school, not only during morning and afternoon, but um, holding a lot of events. So I just want to talk about how we plan on utilizing the second entrance, where that's going to be, and um, how we don't impact the Petrides school now. So if we could just talk a little bit about the plans for the new entrance and how we're going to get um, staff and uh, the, the students who are using the Hungerford School to, to the school without the major impact on Ocean Terrace? Well, current Petrides operations will in come and go as they do presently. With Hungerford, they will come and go through the um, Safety City Boulevard entrance, and it will be designed so that they come in and circulate around and come back out and Safety City Boulevard. So um, as it is now in the existing school, mo most of the students are busted, uh, use, a bu use a bus? For, for, for Hungerford, yes. Yeah. I mean, almost no um, student uh, parent drop-off. It's all through Ambulette or small buses. And we, we anticipate that, obviously, at the new school? And Based on, on so the existing population. We're going to bring the buses in in the morning, and they're going to be directed to go back out the same way they came back in? That's what the design encourages that circulation to come in and go back out. Okay, and same thing to, for afternoon? Yes. And then um, we have no plans to utilize the existing um, entrance in Ocean Terrace and those neighborhoods? No. Okay. Um, so, I mean, those are, the, those are the main issues. Obviously, we're all on the same page of, of, of making this school a reality, and, and it's the, the kids certainly deserve it. Um, so I know where we are in terms of, you know, 
the direction and what we know. Uh, we have to work together, though, as we move forward to ensure that we don't we don't have a mix of the vehicular and traffic from Petrides and Hungerford. That's that is extremely important for the safety of the students, for the safety of parents. Um, it, we we can make this work. We just got to make sure that we're with you know having constant conversations with with us with DOT. We got to get DOT uh, in the same room to make sure that these plans are are, are realized. So the school, um, which is going to be a great school, doesn't have any detriment to the existing the campus. So I'm satisfied of where we are now. I appreciate the effort. I think we still have a little bit more work to do, but that's that's in the normal of of the process of actually getting out there and looking and, and working together. So I ask that you that you ensure that we communicate, that we work together, and um, we bring in DOT and we make sure that the traffic plan is the right traffic plan um, and, and make this work. We've been ongoing talking with DOT and we will continue to do so as we go forward and finalize design. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Adams. Thank you very much, Councilmember Matteo. We've been joined by Council Members Brad Lander, Council Member Inez Barron. Thank you very much for your testimony today. Are there any more members or members of the public who wish to testify on these items? Okay, thank you. Seeing none, the public hearing on LU 278 is now closed. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are waiting for one more Council Member before we can take our vote. Okay. Chair Adams, can I? Uh, you can, you can go through this part. The actual vote. Mm hmm mm hmm okay. Um, let me just go through my little statement of a minute. Thank you. Uh, in accordance with the affected council member's recommendation, we will vote on this item and three other items for which the subcommittee conducted public hearings earlier this month. We will vote to approve LU 278 for a site selection of a 456 seat District 75 school and member Matteo's district. We will also vote to approve LU 238, the 238 President Street House, and I now recognize Council Member Brad Lander. Thank you very much, uh, Chair Adams. I appreciate the opportunity uh, to be here. So yes, I guess you have three items on the calendar uh, today that are in my district, so thank you to you and your, your members for your work on them. Uh, two of them are landmarks at 236 and 238 President Street, and these are wonderful uh, projects. I'm sorry that I was not able to be here for the for the hearing, but they're just lovely buildings. One was the first building in Brooklyn to function as a kindergarten uh, and a lovely uh, building, and then the other is just a gorgeous residential building. They functioned together for a while uh, as a church. It was actually the first Spanish language Methodist church in Brooklyn. Uh, Joan Baez's father was the minister at the church for a little while. So this has got a lovely story. The residents, it's a, the, the residential buildings become a co-op, and the residents themselves led the effort and are asking to have their building landmarked and preserved. And the kindergarten building next door was at actually very real risk of being demolished and sold off and, and redeveloped. So this is a great action, and I urge a yes vote, and I appreciate your support. On the DOT Brooklyn Fleet Services facility uh, on 14th Street in, in my district, I really appreciate uh, your work and the work of the staff to achieve good modifications to it that will make it function better. That's a big fleet maintenance facility that is moving from somewhere else. We need some place that all the DOT fleet is maintained. Obviously having lots of trucks coming in and out in a big maintenance facility, not necessarily something folks are jumping up and down about. And this is directly across the street from a sanitation garage and two blocks away from another sanitation garage in my community board, we actually house not only our own garage, but the garage for another community board. So there's meaningful impacts. Um, I appreciate the work that DOT did, and I thank the administration for working with us to try to address some of those impacts, especially in the context of the work we are doing for the forthcoming Gowanus rezoning. Um, and so DOT has agreed to uh, move forward toward rooftop solar on the facility and to address on-site stormwater management to address some of the environmental impacts of this facility and that face Gowanus in general, and then to work with us both with Department of Transportation but especially Department of Sanitation to make sure that the substantial number of infra public infrastructure trucks can don't overwhelm a local playground 
parking, uh, and other issues. So with those uh, new commitments which they have provided today, I'm pleased to recommend a vote to uh, approve with modifications, to modify this application modestly and then uh, approve it with those modifications. Um, and I thank you for your time and this committee for uh, its work. Thank you very much, Council Member Lander. We did have a, a pretty good, uh, very lively hearing on these items and um, recognizing that the community was very much in favor uh, of landmarking. So we're really excited about this. So thank you very much thank for you. your support. Uh, we would like to acknowledge uh, Council Member Traeger, uh, who is also on the committee and has entered the room. Um, I will continue uh, to go on with what we're doing today. Uh, we will also vote to approve uh, LU 239, the Hans S. Christian Memorial Kindergarten, two historic landmark designations by the Landmarks Preservation Commission, located in the Carroll Gardens neighborhood in Brooklyn, as was heard, represented by Council Member Brad Lander. The subcommittee heard testimony that the residents of 238 President Street strongly support the designation of that building, while the owner of the Hans S. Christian Memorial Garden opposes designation of that building, citing alterations to the structure and LPC's prior decision to pursue designation after a 2007 request for evaluation. However, LPC pers provided persuasive testimony that alterations to the kindergarten are reversible, that Bowart structure has significant aesthetic value, <coughs> and when taken together with the adjacent building at 238 President Street, which served as the Brooklyn Deaconess home of the Methodist Episcopal Church, the structure at 236 President has significant historic value, both as the first purpose-built kindergarten in the city and as home of the first Spanish Methodist Church, Brooklyn's oldest Spanish language Protestant Church. Based on these findings and the support of Council Member Lander, the subcommittee will therefore vote to approve both designations. Finally, we will vote to approve with modifications LU-256, an application submitted by the Department of Transportation and the Department of Citywide Administrative Services, pursuant to Section 197-C of the New York City Charter, for the site selection and acquisition of property located at 25 14th Street in Brooklyn for a fleet vehicle maintenance and repair facility. DOT has committed to exploring sustainable energy systems in this building. Accordingly, our modification will clarify and ensure that this site is for a DOT fleet, not another agency's fleet. This site is also in Council Member Lander's district. I now call for a vote to approve LUs 278, 238, and 239, and to approve with modifications LU 256. Council, please call the roll. Adams. I vote aye on all. Barron. I vote aye on all. Traeger. Aye. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, with zero abstention, LUs 278, 238, and 239 are recommended for approval and LU-256 is recommended for approval with modifications by the Full Land Use Committee. Thank you very much. This vote will be held open for 20 minutes. This concludes today's business. I would like to thank. I can't adjourn. It's just open. We will leave this meeting open as <laughs> said. This, this vote is open for 20 minutes. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today. And I would just like to say especially thank you to Chelsea and to Amy and to Sean for helping on, on this morning's matter. So.